Okay, let us discuss this problem 1.198. So this is something related to finding angular momentum. So this says uh, a ball of mass. Let me first make the diagram and then we'll discuss. So there is a ball and this is coming in this direction. Mass of the ball is m and the velocity of the ball is v naught. And there is a dumbbell shape. And the mass of one of the dumbbell, m by 2, another ball has a mass m by 2. And the length of this dumbbell is L. That is given to you. And this is kept on a horizontal, let us say, this all system is kept on a horizontal table. Are you getting? So let me read. A ball of mass m moving with velocity v naught. So this small moving with velocity v naught experience a head-on elastic collision. So this collides with a with head-on elastic collision with one of the spheres of a stationary rigid dumbbell as shown in the figure. This is figure 1.50. So this this ball collides with this ball and the collision is elastic and head-on. So let us say the collision is elastic. Now next part says the mass of each sphere is equal to m by 2. So mass of this and this is m by 2. And distance between them is L. Disregarding the size of a spheres. So you have to neglect the size of a spheres. Find the angular momentum in the reference frame moving translationally and fixed to the dumbbell center of inertia. So we have to find angular momentum. So what is my target is finding angular momentum. For what? So I think he says find out, let me read again, find the proper angular momentum m of dumbbell after the collision. So I have to find angular momentum of dumbbell. So this is angular momentum for dumbbell about cm of dumbbell and that is also moving with the velocity of cm. So find the angular momentum in the reference frame moving translationally and fixed to the dumbbell center of inertia about cm and it is also moving and this is moving cm moving so about reference frame that is attached to the C cm and moving with with velocity of cm so what my target is to find the moment of so mo angular momentum of this dumbbell after the collision with a reference frame that is attached to the center of mass and that is also moving with the velocity of center of mass. Are you getting? So let us try to read this one and then we will discuss. I think of all of you have written this one. Let us say what will happen. So this ball is coming and this is the dumbbell before collision. So this is with velocity v naught, this is initially rest, this is initially rest. So this is before collision. So this is before. Now what will happen after? So let me write again. So after, so when this collides, this is kept on a horizontal table. So what will happen? This ball hits the this ball. So this system will start translating. And this system will also have a rotational because this applies a force here. So this also have a torque due to center mass. So this will also try to rotate. So you see, after some time, what will have this system, the dumbbell, will gain a velocity. So let us call this the velocity of Vcm. And this will also start rotating. Let us call rotating with angular velocity omega. And what about this ball? After the collision, this ball, either it can go deflect back or it can go in the same direction. Let us assume this is going in the same direction. Or if you wish, you can assume in the opposite direction also. Let me say, 
uh, which suits better okay let us take opposite direction so that i can write this does not matter if you write this direction and sine comes negative finally then this means this direction if you assume this direction if sine comes negative then this will be this direction let us take this goes in this direction not in this direction are you getting so this is the final situation are you getting so what is happening so this is after collision are you getting so i can apply momentum conservation because there is no force that is acting on the system on this system only force acting this is the colliding with each other and that force is internal in nature let us say this goes in this direction with respect to u so i can apply momentum conservation so if i apply momentum conservation what i will write so equation for momentum conservation initial momentum let us say this is the x direction so this is my x direction so i can say initial momentum is m v not mass of the ball is given to you m mass of the ball is m so initial momentum is m v not finally in this direction this is going moving with velocity of center of mass is v c m so this means the whole system is moving with velocity of center of mass that is v c m mass of this uh, this is m i can assume this mass is kept in center of mass so m times b c m plus this mass this is a put in direction so i can have minus m into u so i have first equation v not is equals to v c m minus u now i can also write but more equation from energy can uh, uh, collision is elastic so i can write energy conservation or i can also write in terms of velocity of approach is equals to velocity of separation so since the collision is elastic i can use this fact so if the collision is elastic i can use the fact is velocity of approach is equals to velocity of separation now you see what is the velocity of approach this is initially at rest this is coming with v not so velocity of approach is v not what is velocity of separation this is going back with the speed u and what is the velocity of this this will have this ball will have velocity v c m plus l by 2 into omega because this is also rotating so due to rotation this will have velocity in this direction l by 2 into omega and due to translation this is moving this side vcm so this is also moving with vcm due to translation this will have velocity vcm so total velocity is l by 2 into omega uh, plus vcm so this this plus this is a, and, and velocity of separation will be u plus l by 2 omega plus vcm and that's why basically i have taken u in this direction because to find velocity of separation become easy u plus this are you getting or not that's why i have taken u as in this direction So we will have u plus l by 2 omega plus b c m. So this is equation number two. Now you see we have three unknown u, b c m, and omega. So what are the unknown we have? We have u, b c m, and omega that are the unknown. I have written only two equation i need one more equation this system also remains angular momentum conserved because there is no force that is acting on the system while internal forces are acting internal forces are not going to change the angular momentum so angular momentum will remain conserved so let us find angular momentum about so center of mass so if you see about center of mass initial angular momentum will be only angular momentum of this that is m b not and this distance is l by 2 so m b not l by 2 and this is in this direction are you getting or not so this is initial angular momentum will be so let me write here 
initial angular momentum this will be m b naught l by 2 and this is in this direction are you getting because this will try to rotate this whole system about this center of mass this try to hold system goes this so this is about cm this angular momentum i am writing about center of mass of dumbbell of course now the final angular momentum i can also write now see the final angular momentum if i want to write for dumbbell dumbbell is simply about this point dumbbell is simply moving if you sit on this point then you will see this is going with bcm this is also going with bcm about this point this dumbbell is simply rotating this rotation is angular velocity omega so about this point angular momentum of the rod will be simply i into omega and this will be mvr so let us first write final angular momentum again this is taken up from cm so this will be i into omega and this is in this direction are you getting or not this is in this direction now let us check for u this is m u so mass is m u and this is l by 2 but this momentum will be in this direction so we will have plus m into u into l by 2 and this will be in this direction now if I want to write in this direction i omega minus m u l by 2 and this will be in this direction are you getting so whole angular momentum is in this direction i will be so moment of inertia for this will be this is mass is m by 2 and distance is l by 2 so m l square by 2 so we will have mass is m by 2 and distance is l by 2 whole square and there are two kind of masses such two kind of masses so you have to multiply by 2 into omega minus m u l by 2 this angular momentum is in this direction so you will have 4 so ml square by 4 omega 2 to goes out minus m u l by 2 now you can conserve the angular momentum so initial angular momentum is equal to final angular momentum so if I write Li is equal to LF, initial angular momentum, check your copy, this is MV naught L by 2, this is equal to final angular momentum, that is ML square by 4 into omega minus MU L by 2. So if you cancel M, you also cancel L, so you will have V naught by 2, this is equal to L omega by 4 minus U by 2. So this is the my final equation and I have to find omega. So now use the last equations and then try to find omega. So what we will do is, so we have equation number 1, equation number 2. So from equation number 1 and equation number 2, let us eliminate VCM. So equation number 1 is this, V0 is equals to VCM minus U. And equation number 2 is this, V0 is equal to U plus L omega by 2 plus BCM. If I eliminate BCM from this equation, so BCM will be V0 plus U. So this V0 goes U plus L omega by 2. And BCM is nothing but V0 plus U. Are you getting? So from here V0 goes. So we will have 2U is equals to minus L omega by 2. Are you getting? So U will be minus L omega by 4. Now this U negative sign says the direction I have assumed is basically wrong. So it should be opposite direction. But it does not matter. Mathematics will give you the all answer correctly because in that case you have to place U is equals to minus L omega by 4. So this is only mathematics. Now you know the U. And if you plug the value of u in the equation number 3, so equation number 3 you have, so let me check, ah this is my equation number 3, so this is my equation number 3, so let us plug the value of u in equation number 3, what is the value of omega you are getting, so, so from 3 I can write, I will have v0 by 2 is equals to l omega by 4 and minus u by 2, so u is minus minus plus l omega by yet 
because this is L omega by 4 and minus u so we will have minus minus plus u by 2 L omega by yet so let us solve for L omega so if you multiply by 2 so you will have v0 is equals to L omega by 2 plus L omega by 4 so if you take L omega common or let us take 4 as LCM so 2 plus 1 3 L omega so you will have omega is equals to 4 V naught by 3 L so this is the omega you have to find angular momentum of dumbbell with respect to center of mass and a frame that is attached to the center of mass and the frame is also moving the same velocity so if you in your frame you will simply see this is rotating so if you sit on the center of mass and you move with the velocity of center of mass so this means center of mass frame so in center of mass frame this is simply rotating so you can write in cm frame and this is in cm frame dumbbell is simply rotating are you getting dumbbell is simply rotating So dumbbell is simply rotating so angular momentum will be angular momentum in cm frame this will be simple and this will be i into omega and i into omega i have already calculated this comes out to be i is ml square by 4 so l cm will be m by 2 l by 2 whole square multiplied by so there are two masses so this is i into omega so this is ml square by 4 into omega ml square by 4 into omega let us plug the value of omega from the top omega is 4 by 3 v naught 3 l so 4 4 goes out so we will have m v naught l by 3 so this is the angular momentum in center of mass frame now see the u has come out to be negative you see your uh, answer u is minus l omega by 4 so this means the direction I have assumed for u is wrong basically it should go so what is the direction I said u is in this direction but final answer comes u is minus l omega by 4 this means actually this subject is going in this direction are you getting so let's discuss the next problem I think all of you have copied this one